Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart or reset your iPhone 16 Pro Max. This is something you want to do if your phone is not responding, frozen, stuck, or if you're having any software related issue. This is a process to follow. This is the number one troubleshooting step. So let's get started. So in this force restart, you'll need to follow the sequence of step which is you're gonna locate the volume up and then the volume down button, which is gonna be directly right under your action button. And then this big side button on the right hand side. So what you'll do is quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down. The key thing is doing it quickly before holding on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. At that time, you'll let go of that side button. So in action, I quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like that. Now, do try to avoid touching the screen when you do this, and you do not need to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. This method is forcing the phone to shut down, and then once you see the Apple logo, you let go of that side button so it can go ahead and reload the code. This method is safe. It will not delete any of your personal data, such as photos, videos, apps, documents, music. Everything on your phone will be there. All it is doing is forcing the phone to shut down and reload the code. So that if there is a software glitch bug causing an issue, it's gonna go ahead and fix it. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, Go ahead and try it again. Sometimes it does stick if you try to get the hang of it, if it's your very first time with it. So again, just quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. And when you do this, the key thing again, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down before holding on to the side button, just like I am here. And then let it go completely black and wait for the Apple logo to appear before you let go of that side button. Notice during this process, I made sure I pressed the volume up and volume down quickly and try to avoid touching the screen because if you do that, it'll recognize your touch and that sequence will not work. So you'll have to retry again, volume up, volume down before holding on to the side button. And I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks and giveaways on our channel. We'll see you guys next time.